everybody this is Becky and today I just want to make a really fun quick video because I've gotten a really interesting Christmas present by my sister which is the Star Kisser Jelly Lip Plumping Mask. At first glance it looks really fun. It has golden stars in here you see it's it's really interesting really cheesy but really cute it's glittery it's gold it's everything a girl wants i would say and supposedly it's gonna make your lips look way bigger i have never tried something like this to make my lips look bigger or whatever so i'm really interested in how it's gonna work and if it's gonna work and i thought there might be lots of people who've never tried it either or anything like this who are interested in if it works as well so I'm just gonna try it out and you guys can see if this is actually gonna work or not I looked it up on the internet how to use it because it's I think in French or whatever on here it's not English so I couldn't read it so I looked up and looked it up on the internet and said I sh you should just smear it on your lips and let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes and then your lips should be prepped for lipstick as well as way bigger. We'll see how it works. For the ingredients, I have to say it sounds a little scary because it says hyaluronic acid, aloe and peppermint boost and whatever hyaluronic acid is, I don't know, but I know acid is probably not something you should put on your skin. But I'm gonna look up what exactly it is and how it's supposed to affect your body. So we'll see, we're just gonna try it out. I hope I'm not gonna end up with an allergic reaction or something. So I'm just gonna open it up. All right. See, there's like those golden stars. <laughs> really silly for a lip plumping mask, but whatever. Just gonna wipe some off the lid for now and put that on my lips. Right, I can already tell it's starting to tingle a bit. I didn't expect anything different from acid, <laughs> but it's not burning terribly or anything so far, it's just tingling. And I think it looks really fancy when you have it on. See, it's like really cool golden glittery lips, it's so funny. It's jelly as well. I don't think I've mentioned that before, but that's really funny. It's like all wiggly. It feels really cold and fresh when you put it on your lips. Yeah, so far nothing too concerning. As I said, it tingles a bit, but so far it's okay. I do hope that this is enough. I don't know, but let's just hope. Now I have really funny glittery golden lips, as you can see. They look really cute. If there was a lipstick like this, I would actually go out like this on New Year's or whatever, or like a really fancy party. <laughs> it looks really luxurious, for sure. So now we're just gonna wait, I guess. All right, now 15 minutes later, I don't know if I can see a difference yet, but we're first gonna take it off and see how it's gonna turn out. So on the internet, it says to just wipe it off and check out the magic that happens. So I'm just gonna wipe it off. All right, so far, I just wanna say, I did start to feel it a little bit, but more like the pepperminty kind of feel. Or if you would eat spicy food, you know, when your lips start to burn just a little bit from spicy food, that's the feeling I got from this mask. But I didn't find it uncomfortable. It was like a fresh, because of the peppermint, I am guessing, really fresh type of tingle. So it was okay. It never really hurt or anything throughout the process, so it's fine. I also checked out the type of acid that is in there while I had the mask on and it's actually not bad at all. I don't know, I read acid and I just expected something bad, but it's actually something that is really good for lots of things in your body. For example, it is able to help speed up wound healing, it is able to relieve joint pain, discomfort from dry eyes, preserve bone strength, prevents bladder pain, 
and for skin in general it hydrates and protects the skin so the skin doesn't have to be busy fighting for hydration and supposedly makes the skin cells plumber so I guess this is why it's in here to make the lips plumber yeah I do see a difference um wait I first have to wipe it all off All right, yes, I definitely do see a difference. I don't know about you guys. They definitely are plumber. I'm just gonna put on some lipstick real quick and then come back to you with my conclusion. I just did my lips as I usually did and then I recognized another thing that I think is the most extreme change through the lip mask and that is really the smoothness of my lips only through this mask because recently I have had really dry and chapped lips and everything due to the winter season and when it's cold outside my skin is just outburst of dryness. Yeah. I really think that that for sure helped with this. So reading about the, I'm sure I've pronounced it so wrong every single time, but reading about the hyaluronic acid definitely makes sense. And I understand why it did this and why they feel so soft now. It's just perfect. It hydrates the lips. And I also did see a slight change in the size of my lips. They did get plumber, but it was not as plumb as I had hoped for. But that's why I wanted to film it because I just wanted to get surprised and see what happens. But regardless, I would still recommend this really cool jelly mask. I think it's so funny. I'm gonna show you one more time. So funny. It looks really cool. I would definitely recommend, first of all, because you feel really fancy when you wear it. I couldn't stop looking in the mirror at myself because it just looked so funny with uh, golden glittery stars on my lips. I really liked it. It felt super luxurious. Still to this point, my lips feel really fresh. I had this icy feeling on my lips throughout the process. There was a little bit of tingle tingliness. I'm not sure if that's a word. I'm sure you know what I mean. Um, I did feel a tingle a little bit, not in a bad way, just as if you would eat spicy food or whatever, just a little bit, but not painful or anything, don't worry. I, I think the tingliness was due to the peppermint in there because, you know, it felt like peppermint, you know, peppermint is always a little spicy as well. So overall, I really like it. I think I'm going to add it to my daily routine of doing makeup because it does make my lips feel so fresh and so much more healthy only because they're not dry anymore. I didn't have to put any lip balm underneath my liquid lipstick. I usually always put lip balm underneath my liquid lipstick, especially in winter when my lips are so dry and chapped and everything and this time I really didn't have to do this and they're still really juicy and I'm so happy about that so I definitely do like it I did expect a little more outcome from the size of my lips but I'm not disappointed anyway overall I'm happy with it and I hope it helped somebody thinking about buying a mask like this um, I think if you decide to buy masks like this it is important to buy a natural one because I definitely have seen videos and products before that are made to basically make you have a reaction to chemicals that is not healthy for you. Just to have bigger lips, it not, it's not worth going through pain and having some really bad ingredient attack your lips just for bigger lips. No, that's not good. And when I read this, I first thought, acid, woo, this is probably the case with this one as well but then I read about it and I also felt how good it feels after and that's definitely not the case with this one so I think it's worth buying. I'm gonna link the product in the description box below. It's not sponsored but I want to give you all the chance to buy it as well. So I hope you have a great rest of your day and week and I'll see you next Monday. Bye!